Welcome back. Three months from today, these will be the must have accessory to wear around Buffalo. The sky will darken in the middle of the day as the moon passes between the sun and the earth during the total solar eclipse at Buffalo State University's planetarium. They're getting ready in a lot of ways. It's an exciting event uh, for I think for anybody and one of our roles has been to uh, work with other organizations to help kind of let people know what's happening and, and that it's this big event that you have to plan for. You can't just wake up on April 8th and figure out what you're going to do that day. Kevin Williams is the planetarium director and a professor at Buffalo State University. He showed us on the big screen what our view of the total solar eclipse will look like here in Buffalo. And what's good about the eclipse is you don't have to be at a specific location to view it. You just need to be in the path of totality. So that might be your backyard. It might be you know outside of where you work. Uh, it might be a, a group event like we're having here at Buffalo State. Starting next month, the Whitworth Ferguson Planetarium here at Buffalo State University will host a series of events to educate people about and celebrate the coming of the eclipse, including a lecture with an internationally known expert named Mr. Eclipse, a beer tasting event called Eclipse and Sips, and weekly eclipse shows for families. We have a lot of school groups coming in. Um, and we're really excited that we've been partnering with Buffalo Public Schools through their science department. So all of the fourth graders in Buffalo Public Schools have been and will continue to be coming to learn about the eclipse. Starting in a couple months, all of the um, Earth Science High School classes are going to be coming to the planetarium to learn about the eclipse, as well as we're um, excited to be partnering with MNT Bank that they're helping to support uh, us providing eclipse classes to all of Buffalo Public School students, uh, teachers and staff. Then on the big day, Buffalo State will have a big public event at the football field. So we're going to be having um, what we're calling Eclipse Fest. It's um, an uh, event over at our football field at Coyer Field where we're going to have um, uh, entertainment and information about what's happening with the eclipse. Tickets will be available soon and the event will be moved inside in the case of bad weather. But really, it's going to be a, an opportunity to get together with uh, a few thousand of your closest friends and uh, have this once in a lifetime experience. Uh, and um, I think whether it's cold that day or beautiful and sunny, it's, it's going to be a, a great event. And you can stay up to date with all of the Eclipse events at the Whitworth Ferguson Planetarium on their website. We have a link on WGRZ.com. That's it for Most Buffalo today. I'm Lauren Hall. I'll see you back here tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Channel 2 News First at 5 with Scott Levin and Mary Alice Demler starts now.